Hey, hey, everyone, and welcome back to a new chapter and episode of the Project Webtoons podcast with your big dogs here coming live at you. It is, of course, your big host. It is Sleepy. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Seraph here. And this is Ark Dragoon. Oh, good old Ark bringing us more all the fun. You get enough sleep in there? Eh? Well, me? My yeah. nap? Yeah, no, yeah. No, I got food in me now. So oh, okay. So you're good. You're good. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. So so he's past that stage of uh, of crankiness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but as always, uh, before we even get into everything, I definitely want to say, if you can, go ahead, click that like button down below, as well as that subscribe to be updated with any of the new content as it comes out. And as always, as we cover some of the latest, hottest webtoons we've got here uh, this week with uh, solo leveling, some new chapters. Beginning after the end, we got Seraph on stream doing a look, squirting some tears from it. It's all good. Wow, that, that was so cute. <laughs> Descent of the Demonic Master, tra- FS Class Trash Hero, Got a High School, Laura Olympus, and Peerless Dad. Hot, hot, hot stuff to talk about all the way around, but let's definitely jump into it with our first one out of the gate because I want to get down to talking with some solo leveling, our homeboy. Ooh. We're finally getting story. We are like straight up. My eyes just got wide when I saw it. I was like, okay, it's a, it's a fight. It's ended. It's like, wait, wait. We're talking about stuff now. We're doing something. <laughs> oh shit! Like we're gonna slow this down. Um, we're moving along. Yes, finally, this yes, is what we I are. Mean, I mean, gonna show up and stop it. That's, that's I, I, oh, don't ruin it for us. <laughs> oh. Yes. I mean, I know what happens next. I, I know you do, anything, but, but. <laughs> uh, I mean, the, the fight with the Giants was cool enough. We got to see how that ha- how that haul went down. I wasn't at all worried about Homeboy, really. Um, you know, no, nah, but but Jin Wu was agitated for the first time by a monster. Uh, that is, that's crazy. Like he still okay. won this fight, but still, he looked at this thing and was like. Man, this thing makes me want to run. But you know what? I'm about to overcome this motherfucker. I mean, it, it, it's definitely one of those things where it's like most of the time, you know, any of the any of the monsters or the guardians he goes up against, they're usually egging him on or they're trying to talk big game. But this one just like stood in the corner and just, nah, I'm away. <laughs> so he was just waiting for that smoke. He was just ready. Yeah, he he I'm was he, he was definitely definitely a contender to that. But, you know, after like a quick brawl and granted, it was a quick, a real easy bout when he's just like, well, none of these attack works, but I saw something go through and he just goes, goes for the eyes. <laughs> uh, just use that old, ah, Bro, Garu dove in. <laughs> he uh, dove in and beat him from the inside. Yeah. But, I'm pretty sure Baru ate his brain. I mean, it sounded like he did some damage in there. But the, the the thing that we got out of it after the whole battle is that even after the monster was dead, it was still, like, emanating power because he's, like, he couldn't, um, what's his name, was about to, uh, like, square up for a second. He's, like, hold off. And he's, like, it's just brood. He's, like, hmm, even with uh, it being dead, it still cloaked his energy. So it's, like, something is different about this. And that straight up came to be what the whole incident was is that all the power just gets sucked back into the gate. <laughs> And, and also unleashing some of the power outside of the gate at the yeah. same time because we saw Sun Jin Wu get cut by magical yeah, energy like, alone. Yeah, like, it's literally attacking him just by the magical energy, and it's like, okay. Man, when was the last time we saw him bleed? <laughs> when he fought the administrator. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, it wasn't that long <laughs> nah, ago. It wasn't that it's long ago, like... but... It, it I forgot about that. I go but, but the administrator had to actually physically touch him to cause the bleeding. It wasn't just so much of a, I'm flexing and... Oh shit! <laughs> he causes scratches. Yeah, it wasn't so much of I'm flexing this power, dog. <laughs> but he gets in. He walks into the gate, and he's just like, "Hold up, can you hear that?" And it's just a laugh. He's like, "I." He's like, "Who? Who in here is strong enough to just laugh? Laugh at me coming in their front door? Like I doesn't even give a damn." And that's when he walks in on basically the giant king or the giant's god. The giant monarch. Or the giant's monarch. We have found yet another monarch. We have found one of the first monarchs that's actually talking to him. (laughs) And just the lowdown that he gives on him just starts breaking down all of this information about, like, the the other monarchs are the ones planning this. Uh, We finally get uh, an answer for who the winged god angels were that came down in the past memory. 
the rulers, the rulers soldiers yes the ruler soldiers and the fact that all the monsters coming out of the gates are not like just monsters that are just appearing because of nothingness but they're uh beaten they're denizens they're or the denizens but they're beaten warriors or more than anything that are just being thrown out released from the rulers themselves yeah so <laughs> Um, and, and this giant king is just like, uh, you know, they, they, they chained me up cause I'm supposed to be like this bridge. They're going to use me for something basically more or less to complete their plan. But now as a that stepping stone uh, for war. Yeah. Uh, as for war. But he's like, now that you're here, you can release me and I'll help you. And of course, you know, Dune was like, uh, was like, you're the first one that talked to me. Why the hell would I trust you? And that's when he gives him that whole, uh, basically this uh, uh th this mini curse to him is like hey i basically if you accept this we can't lie to each other <laughs> and i'm like oh okay so we're actually getting like full truth these aren't like hidden under the world kind of thing anymore um and some of the some of the information we he drops on us uh throughout the whole thing um about that with uh each of the rulers um, we don't get, I don't think he goes into like how many of them there are, does he? I don't think he actually states a number or anything. No, he doesn't state any Okay, he just states that there's, yeah, that there's, that there's multiple monarchs. He's one of them. Um, the rulers, and then more or less, just more or less why the monsters are present and, and why they're doing what they're doing. But um, now from a little, uh, from just any strapulation of that. So do we think that the rulers are the ones that are, uh, the rulers are the ones that are responsible for like how the monsters actually are kind of programmed to act no the rulers are the ones who like beat Sent the monarchs out. and they're the, the the way the monsters act they're not being programmed in any way they were just basically like just locked up forever and then now well, they just no longer have uh, well they, like, they no longer seem to have a level of uh, not free will but they're basically degenerated they're kind of insane but i mean like the way of the program because remember when the two other times that he's tried to speak with one of the monsters oh, that's they like the... their make their brain just kind of like rewrites them it's like they, they can't talk about something or they instantly say like no 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 our job is to kill uh you know humans that's where i'm wondering like is, is the programming something the rulers did or is that something that the monarchs do potentially a little bit of column a a little bit of column b possibly um, a little bit of both because it definitely seems like uh from the flashback memories that it's not like they weren't attacking humans or anything at some point either you know what i mean like it's well, not like the, the monarch and, side weren't well well yeah the monarchs didn't like, well yeah the monarchs weren't in, at all in, in the memory they were fighting with the rule against the rulers but then they turned their back on the shadow monarch that's why they were fighting the shadow monarch that's why demon no, king baron he asked demon king baron why'd you betray me like this man well yeah well, there seems to be there was some level of betrayal on all sides because i mean if all of a sudden the rulers come and they start attacking the monsters as well so it's like you were you, you know you you guys were fighting amongst yourselves then you were fighting us but then you turned back on one of your allies to fight him to help us it's like so who's who's doing the double triple cross here is what i'm trying to get at <laughs> You know, um, no comment. No comment. <laughs> yeah, because you you are ahead. <laughs> um, but yeah, so with the way that they had, with the way that the information we've gotten, how they set up, that's just where my first couple of questions started to come in. I'm like, okay, so now we kind of know at least a little bit more about it, that the the flashback, at least what that battle was exactly meaning, um, specifically. But we still, I mean. We still have him now with this other monarch and he's still trying to get more information out of him but um daddy Wu is still outside the gate and i'm wondering if he's just watching all this go down if he's another monarch himself it's all or... according to kcop oh god, or, god or or if he's like a ruler or something or if, yeah, if he if he may be one of he may be a uh yeah he may be a, li a liaison or a guardian for the rulers just to make sure that this is happening as it's supposed to um, he keeps talking about this prophecy, but we don't know what it is. But now we're getting a, a snippet of the prophecy from the too. giant monarch. So that shit's pretty tight. That too. And also when he says it's like to, to a stepping tone to start a war, is this a war against the rulers again? 
is, is that what this war is for? Or is this another war where they're just trying to, you know, they're starting a war to just break out into the human world so they can have a new home away from the rulers and then build up their armies outside to start something else. Me? Me. I don't know. Me. I mean, I was... I was hoping for more from with all the uh, w- well with actual story now <laughs> with some actually something to like chew on that we've gotten from you know, most of the recent chapters, but <laughs> um, seems so, like we'd get more answers with like the next few chapters. Well, for sure. So, do we see him actually accepting the demon king or accepting the giant king's help from this? Do you think, he, or is he going to put some conditions on it? Because, I mean, those do not look like ordinary seals. They they kept him down for a very clear reason. And and if anything, the ally, uh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So, I don't know if he's going to be on board to, to work with what essentially, I guess, is a monster. Even if it is another monarch. You know, and I don't know if too many people on the outside are going to be happy to either hear or help this. Especially with, you know... The giants who literally just came out of there destroyed all of Tokyo. <laughs> Damn near all of Japan. They were spread out everywhere. There's even one swimming the sea. Yeah, there's China. one swimming swimming in, in the ocean to, to hit the to hit the mainland. So that ain't nothing but like three breaststrokes, dog. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. I mean, I, I figure he's gonna get some more info. But I don't know if he's gonna like make this deal to help him, if not at least without some kind of like leverage, um, in some way. Cause yeah, I mean the dude is huge to too, and I don't know if they can control their size either. So that'll be a whole other thing as well. Not to mention the distrust that could possibly give with all the other hunters uh, uh, associations as well. If you know he makes a deal or a friendship with uh, a monster that essentially destroyed a city um but yeah so i'm sure with the with the next couple of chapters we'll we'll get down a lot of that uh information but i just wanted to see any speculation from you two on everything we got from these chapters i know sarah can't say too much because he is ahead but arc uh, uh no nah, i just want to wait for more information you want to wait for like more information? like i said like like i already said like the cliche thing would be like something happens and he, we get no further answers honestly <laughs> they just throw a uh, uh throw a firecracker and then we're just back to the new a new scene entirely yep oh that would be uh that would be quite disappointing <laughs> that would be tragic it would but it would also be a great troll <laughs> It would hurt so bad, but y'all thought uh, you was getting information. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if only, if only it was like that. But all right, well, I'll definitely have to keep my eye on some of the comments. I'll probably hit up a few other people to see what they got input on that one. But we'll move on here to our next one, uh, one that we got Seraph a little earlier for with some tears with the beginning after the end. Ah, high school love is in the air. <laughs> school love, school tension between the students, the hierarchy of status, uh, all and good things. sky, being good sky, <laughs> who is absolutely goaded, <laughs> giving my man the pass to go whoop ass. Uh, so, yeah, so in uh, the first chapter we got back after uh, good sky shows up at the uh, their dorm to give a, have a little talk with Arthur. But more or less, really, uh, she is there to uh, make a proposition um, after to, after the day's events with, uh, you know, the other students. he uh, they, they sit down to have a discussion and she basically offers him disciplinary duty. <laughs> he is to be basically be the uh, part of the disciplinary committee that keeps the school in line, which why doesn't that seem like the perfect thing for Arthur to do? <laughs> Like I said, the pass to whoop ass. <laughs> like he hasn't already taken up that role all since he since he got into the school. <laughs> since he walked in. The very I mean, before he even started school, he 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 quickly puts a uh, puts a, a a foot to a teacher <laughs> with some quick words, and then he got some of kids his expelled other from students, school. He got them expelled. <laughs> it's like wow, he's already set up for this role. <laughs> Get his boy, get this boy a nightstick, and he's good to go. Um, 
Yeah, so they, uh, basically the, the, the whole exchange is like, you know, we just wanted, I wanted you to join the committee. He's like, I don't really want to do that. And she's like, well, if you do, you get access to all these extra things. And, you know, maybe you also won't get in trouble for a few of the actions you've already taken. <laughs> and basically plays him into it. But <laughs> he, of course, willingly accepts uh, she even has an, a uniform ready for him. Because, you know, she knew she was going to win this. But... I mean... It, it was it's a simple thing honestly so it's fine yeah it's true um it will be interesting to see some of what, what the other students are on the committee as well because um i don't know if she if she'll intentionally make the committee out of just uh multiple different of the ra uh, multiple different people of different races or if she's very particularly going for people of certain class as well uh because definitely I would think that Arthur will clash with anybody that probably is from the higher class that acts with that with that high and mighty tone, which he seems to attract very quickly <laughs> every time he talks to somebody else in the student body. Um, yeah, so um, we'll, we'll be good to see that with that. It, it is funny, though, that, of course, you know, he automatically gets himself once in the school into a position of power as well, on top of being friends with the student council president. Uh, as well as um, having an enemy with the uh, basically the top class student for the uh, the expedition team as well. So just stacking the deck for him in so many different ways there. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, did I miss anything else in that la in that first chapter outside of the disciplinary committee thing? I think that was pretty much the biggest thing we got out of that. Out of that, that was probably like the most important thing. The which one? No, the disciplinary oh, yeah, committee okay. was probably the yeah. biggest thing in the Japanese uh, film. Out of that one. What's somebody. her name? Um, um, um. Good Sky. Tess. 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 I think we have the little bit where Tess, like, like, does the thing where she regrets a little bit of what happened, but then... She regrets her first, uh, her first meeting back with him. Yeah, there's that whole tiny exchange. But Arthur kind of does the same thing as well. They basically both reflect on how they uh, interacted with each other and how they handled that. But I was going to get more into that in the next chapter that came up because that's where we get the, you know, the the, the finish off with all of how that goes down. Um, but of course, uh, the next day, the lunchroom, Arthur's sitting with, uh, with Ethan there, homeboy talking. And as always, because of Arthur's natural ability, <laughs> some shitlord <laughs> walks up and starts talking to Ethan, uh, offering him a spot in his uh, his little clique to, you know, not be picked on by some of the other high-class students. And, of course, he rejects him, <laughs> and that's when stuff always, always is known, pops off, and Arthur has to uh, basically step in. <laughs> but before he can uh, do his thing again, um, he gets a little help from Tess as she's walking by and uh, ties the boy up. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, Arthur decides to uh, shame him in the best way possible you could do for some kids, and pants his mug. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't that, that chick, that 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 chick in the extras is like, they ain't much they ain't to look much at. To look I was at. like, yo, <laughs> yo, like, just going for these easy, simple, simple punches to the gut there. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Oh. That after that whole thing, the real part of the story that we wanted to definitely get to is just with Tess and Arthur sitting down and having their little conversation. And I know Seraph, I got to watch a live reaction of him going through it. <laughs> How'd you feel about that? Uh, I've been waiting so long. <laughs> you just wanted Dude, this. It's fine. <laughs> it's I've been fine. waiting for many millennia for this to happen. <laughs> and by the gods. Talos has praised upon me. It happened. <laughs> uh, we get to see yeah that little that that little love connection between the the two childhood friends sparks up once more here. <laughs> um, they don't really exchange too many words, at least like about what's gone on, but just more or less, uh, we do get a like them walking off and doing a little. Obviously, just a quick uh, recap of everything that Arthur's gone through. Um, I did like the fact that I was like, I feel like this, the, the trope here is going to come up for sure. But the moment that he's like patting her on the head, I'm like, okay, where's the, where is the weird trope that does the, does the, the cock block here? And out of nowhere, Ethan shows up and is just like, oh my. <laughs> and I was like, okay, there it is. 
we're good. <laughs> I knew we couldn't go through this entire scene without something just coming in and smashing all of that to pieces. Man, <laughs> I was yelling at Elijah as he was walking up. He's just like, oh. <laughs> Uh, Luckily, Tess didn't notice that it didn't ruin. No, because I wasn't. Yeah, that's what the next part would have been. Like she's just like straightens up, just like, oh no, it's nothing. <laughs> He's just like, I'll excuse myself. Um, but yeah, uh, we do. Elijah later on though, being super depressed <laughs> after the whole bit, especially with him like basically just falling in love with every girl he sees on campus. <laughs> um, yeah, um, yeah. Th 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 this wasn't a like. Uh, this was more an emotional chapter, more than anything, and I was happy to see it. Just finally getting those two to sit down and talk again was was really nice after all this time. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, you guys got anything else you wanted to say on these two here for sure? No. No. Sarah's just in bliss. He's just so happy. He's got his his power couple together. <laughs> that was what I. It's all he wanted. <laughs> It's all I needed. Uh, I mean, it's more, this is definitely a nice cool down chapter, especially since I know we've got the the announcement of the disciplinary committee, and I'm sure in the, uh, the next couple of ones we'll meet up with the rest of the committee and how he's going to clash with all of them. Um, I'm kind of interested to see how, because the one thing they keep bringing up um, that they don't, uh, that no one seems to keep noticing is that they all keep underestimating him because he's going into a mage studies class and not as a battle mage mm -hmm. but everyone that like tries and messes with him gets handed right away so i'm kind of surprised that hasn't spread it's like um oh now there's it's something about to spread there's sure, something bro. off about this dude he's not he's not what he claims he is <laughs> uh i'm still waiting for him to accidentally run into uh what's his name lucas wikes yep I'm so ready and throws because no smoke. Cause supposedly his family tried to get him on the disciplinary committee as well. But mm -hmm. Sky, but good Sky, Sky denied shut, it. She shut, cut God, that shut shit out. Down. She shut it down. But so I'm kind of waiting for him to like make some trouble about that because I feel like he's going to in some way. But uh, yeah, so much. Yeah, good. but then as I said before, Arthur has the past to whoop ass. <laughs> so Lucas can go get it. <laughs> I mean, he can catch that smoke if he wants to. He's, gonna, he's probably going to catch a whole lot of the way that's going down. But yeah, so set up chapter, set up chapters more than anything here. Oh, well, one set up, one nice cool down. I'm happy with what we got. I am definitely Gosh. excited for, for those next couple ones that are going to be coming out here. Uh, uh, he needs. He, we need to get him a, a, a challenge chapter here. We need to, he needs to start doing something next to really push him to that next to that new level uh see how that goes out but anything else on those two chapters from you two any anything anything nope nope you just smile and happy i i as you can see there's a kitty in the back there <laughs> uh but i got yep <laughs> we'll go ahead we'll move on here to our next one with uh the biggest of the, all the dark masters and the descent of the demon here descent of the demonic master man this chick <laughs> all right what I'm I'm fine with her. She's yeah, I, she's I, fine with her. Her. She's, I love her. She's definitely your type, she's, of Jimmy. She's what? <laughs> no, no, no. She's not about her That's, being my type. She's crazy. She's, she's, she's bad. bad. She, she takes the initiative, dog. You see the way she walked in that orphanage and went, man. How are you gonna make these kids do this like this now? <laughs> and go out and buy five fucking washing machines in one go? Well, yeah, but like to him, he, he thinks like like. Hard work is still like something you do. Well, you hard work that? is like, something you're supposed to do. He, yeah, he, like he, he's worked, he, he's lived in that lifestyle. I mean, he's from the military. He lived all of his life in a feudal, <laughs> a feudal land. Yeah, he, he has this mentality that you do the work. <laughs> yeah, he 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 literally like when that happened, I was like, no, it's because he literally did not process that. Oh, if I buy them a fucking washing machine, things will be fixed. No, he's like, no, we we go and do it for them, and like we hard work it through. And she was like. <laughs> Why are you doing this the hardest way possible? Like, why are you being- She made life easier on the orphans. <laughs> it's like, why are you doing this in the in the, in the dumbest way you could possibly do this? Uh, yeah, I, I I have enjoyed her character. I hope she sticks around a little longer. But just- Honestly- One of the only same. people that like- She's like- throws She's a really fun list. character though. At the same time, she's a super fun character to, to watch. It's crazy. I mean, she's the only one that kind of calls him on his bullshit a lot. 
like constantly like and it's it scared to <laughs> i mean it's like more like why are you acting like you you're not a modern aged person you do things in such an odd manner and also a person who isn't wealthy or isn't connected to all of these extremely famous people you do this in in such the most dragged out way granted she says like i understand that you, you know doing it earnestly is a good thing but working smarter not harder is way better here <laughs> by far uh I do like that she does she does all the spending and you think like okay he's gonna pay but she's like nah I got this <laughs> quick to show off it's like I don't need your money I'm I'm gonna do this for you because <laughs> you clearly can't process this in in a modern in a modern fashion uh but yeah uh just a hilarious chapter all around for those two and that uh after all of that insanity and you know she tells him just take me out for a coffee and that will call it even and she kind of like in the middle of it explains like you know the reason that she even came over to see him was that she's maybe feeling a little depressed her show's not going so well and she starts to like break down a little bit on him and then she autumn she instantly goes oh you have a handsome face maybe i just want to be around fuck <laughs> uh i gotta find a picture put up that shocked panel that she makes when she's just it's like so oh she, yeah she's just like oh she, i'm not supposed to tell you this <laughs> um yeah uh, she quickly runs out of there and uh you know she starts acting really differently she starts acting uh, like kindly to people and even her manager and uh her public sister are like who are you pod person <laughs> You, she she would never say this. She would never say thank you. What's wrong with this person? I was like, oh, it's imposter. It was like, oh, it's like Ark, Ark, Ark pointing out the clearly the uh, fake person in the room. But yeah, uh, that <laughs> that end though, that end. We knew. Why do you look at me like that? What's up? The bicycle bit or the part where they're like, hey, we're gonna send. It's now to send an, another group of people to kill him, and I'm like. Oh, this is not going to end well for anyone at all, is it? I mean, man, they were they were on ET moment here. Yeah, that uh, that whole ET moment. Just get on. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the uh, not the association, but the, the the gang members still planning to do something. And uh, I like that they're even like using military tactic there is like, when they're just like the, 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 they're leaving the nest and they're like clear. <laughs> uh, I I know it's not going to end well, but. He already gave them a like full on warning about this, and I don't know what they did with. Uh, I, I think that was the that was the, the the leader that we saw get captured uh, in the car raid, right? Because he's was the it the was, leader? I don't know if it was the it, leader. It was the he, leader he of was, that group. He was at least but, the leader of like some level of the group. Yeah, we saw I him, like making. I don't know. Yeah, what they did with him, but clearly whatever message they lobbied out it did not go through because they're trying again and this is exactly what he told him like don't do this <laughs> this is the only thing that keeps you safe because without because you hurt them i'm just gonna go on a murder spree <laughs> but clearly just I, I i i don't i don't get why it doesn't you know just meet to them like that <laughs> why they don't see this right in front of them so I don't understand why they don't go, man. He took out like 30 of our guys. He took out 30 of these guys' guys. He took even took out the Japanese guys. Why are we doing this? <laughs> I have no idea. Now the question is, is what's the tactic this time? Because we've had uh they, they are you gonna blow up the streets of of Korea? I, like I mean, I don't know. I mean, they they, they kidnapped a sister that involved that uh killed two guys uh and <laughs> the car like five. and and a car they shot up his uh they shot up another car with him in it and a uh uh another gang member and blew up the car <laughs> that didn't do anything so what's the plan now <laughs> and this time he's on a bicycle dog <laughs> what, are, what are you gonna do to him on a bicycle <laughs> I, I mean i'm not sure what, where they can go from here they already use guns they used explosives i mean <laughs> Are we going to get a Neo moment? Just 40 people at once? Let's see how this works out. <laughs> we'll just jump him in the street. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't have the, he doesn't have the blades on him this time. <laughs> still doesn't excuse I mean, him it, using his demonic energy to fuck it, him up today. It, it doesn't, but still, they might see it as, you know, an advantage in some way. 
Um, <laughs> oh, he ain't got his swords. I'm gonna go try and throw smoke with him. Man, did the first group of guys that he fought, he didn't have his swords? No, Hello? not really. <laughs> you know, those things that don't, uh, don't, don't catch on after, even after you hit the wall a few times. Um, yeah, so we got a fight chapter for the next one for, for sure coming, or at least a, uh, uh, a chase or a car chase or something because you know he's gonna have to try and protect uh homegirl because yeah <laughs> Brandon, i, I kind of on his bicycle pulling like a jin mori and just kicking the car out of the way <laughs> oh that would just be so fucking hilarious granted even be funnier if we find out like she's like some level of a of a martial artist herself and she takes on a few of them uh <laughs> and we maybe even see him just be like oh maybe she's the one <laughs> But yeah, I can breed for powerful children. <laughs> <laughs> gotta pull that Baki. You gotta find the oh, strongest girl. Oh, you gotta find girl. the strongest girl to breed. Breed the only fighter that you can take on. <laughs> uh, if only, if only. But yeah, so setup, setup, setup is coming here. We'll have to wait and see what we got for that next one coming out. Um, yeah, I. I kind of want to get a few more people into that one and see see what they think of it because it's just fun because we it so much of it is on that slice of life moment and then it just quickly cuts over to remember like oh yeah this is a this is a martial arts uh, webtoon there's kids martial arts too guys and yeah. like yeah I keep forgetting that sometimes it's supposed it's, to I mean, be a slice of life <laughs> it, it is a slice of life it is a slice it's, of life but it's just like oh yeah there's fighting in here I keep forgetting that it is the ultimate slice of life. <laughs> It is. It kind of is. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, anything else on that one from you two? Anything I missed? Anything you wanted to bring up? Uh, possibly a throwdown with uh, with somebody else there too. Uh, but we'll keep moving on here to our next one with our greatest, trashiest of heroes in the Triple F series here. Ark. <sighs> He's your boy. Yeah. I mean, I I really don't know where to go with this because okay, so so, all right, so we're now at the point where, uh, he's found the dark elf king and the dark elf princess, and they're kind of explaining things like, oh yeah, there are there are angels and stuff, and he's beaching them, and then they're like, oh yeah, there's also this city where all the heroes live, so they go there, and he's like. Wait, so this is where all the heroes, heroes live. How the fuck did I land in like the boondocks <laughs> where like everyone else landed here? And then, you know, he, he's, he asks the helper and she's like, I don't know. And he's like, no, 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 no. We, I, he knows shit will like happen, but he's just like, I'm just going to brush it off for now. It's, I'll, I'll, I'll really come back to that. It's fine, right? I'm just going to go in there and steal everything I can, right? Because he's like, now my luck is super, super high. I can go in there. And then he meets up with some guy who like recognizes him, and I guess this kid is also a kid from where or, he used to yeah, live before, to live. right? And like the kid's like, yeah, it took me three years to like solve this. And he's like, it took me a day. And he's like, yeah, great for joking. He's like, no, I'm technically he's not joking, I guess. But yeah. we're just going a to ignore that he did like four or five years, tries, right? You know? So it's fine. <laughs> A day and eleven years, give or take, you know, however you want to put it. Yeah, and then, and then as it where, like, for some odd reason, when his friend is explaining it, his friend explains it as like it's a normal like isekai. Is like, oh yeah, I went in there, made a harem, and then I, with the power of harem, I won. And I was, and then the helper was like, yeah, see the power of love and friendship. And he's like. <laughs> That's not fucking love and friendship. <laughs> what the fuck is that nonsense? You know what? You just, no, you just no. looked at these girls and went, I'm about to mate with you. <laughs> yeah. Like, this oh, guy's, I'm going to get with you for this, sure. <laughs> this guy's intention the entire time is to just fuck a harem. He, like, it was just coincidental that he, he beat the demon lord because the demon lord got super jealous where apparently at some point, like, he must have stolen, like, the, the elf queen too there or something because, like... I, I think he said, yeah, he basically all of the, all of the characters that were shitty, to, all the female characters that were shitty to him, he made a part of his harem. Yeah. Like, and he, it was just like stupid shitty. And he was just like, no. And that's, and that was, he was like, go away. And then as he goes away, he still has a girlfriend here. He's like, fucking normies. <laughs> and then, you know, so he plans. So then because he spent time wasting time with this kid, his luck stat went down one tier. 
but then in doing so the the radiant power the the god power that he received the radiant power the power of light overwrote overwrote his thief stat yep. so that he's now a saint Instead. and everyone's like oh it's the first saint and he's like <laughs> yes yes i yeah. am <laughs> Oh, <laughs> God. Yes, um, I am your saint. Oh, <laughs> uh, just the evil character if I've ever seen one. <laughs> just like with all saints, the corrupt. I was trying to get Ugh. in there by myself. Wow. But now you invited me. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. I am the saint. I'll see what's inside that cathedral over there. <laughs> now uh, I don't have to break in like I originally planned. All right. <laughs> It was my plan all along. <laughs> Calculated. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, so uh I don't even know how to how that turn would even occur. Just I I, I was I, gonna break yeah. in, but because I talked to this one person and just took too much time, it removed my class stat for thievery and gave me sainthood. Just like Yeah, because he wasn't thieving. What? <laughs> He had to go pick some pockets right quick. <laughs> just w w where does uh, just the story's just like, and then this occurred. I'm like, but okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I I don't know but for this dude. Hunksuk is just some kind of mess. <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. I, I enjoy this read because everything that happens is always original. I have no idea what the fuck's going to happen next. <laughs> like, it's always like. Well, I can oh, guess that so he's you thought this was going to happen, but then, like, this happened otherwise, and you're like, oh, okay, I'm fine with that, because <laughs> I have no idea what you're predict. It's fine. Well, I, I'm sure with the next one, he's going to make his way into the into the priesthood and figure out some either underhanded bullshit that's going on in there, or uh, they'll tell him what they do, and he's going to be like, yeah, that sounds dumb as fuck, so I'm going to... I'm gonna use this in some evil nefarious way so that I can get more. I'm just more gonna power. take everything and then kill everyone. <laughs> like that's that's the plan, right? Like every time. I mean, it's not like he's too far off from wanting to do that. It seems to constantly eat at him every other way. Um, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, the 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 guy that he said that he knew, um, he made a comment. He says, "Oh, well, if I see your parents, I'll tell them you said hi." So. Can he, he can travel back and forth between no, Earth I and think, here? Or I, no, is... so there must have been a period, like some heroes got a, a chance to go back home before they were whisked away again. Oh, okay, I see. So, um, I'm guessing some of them that completed it in the proper way got to return home for a little bit and then were sent back. In the to, generic isekai way, yes. Yeah, and then sent back here because, you know, there's more to complete. But, of course, because he is complete trash... He just skipped that whole bit and just went straight to the... He just took too long is yeah. what it happened. <laughs> it took too long and they got bored. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... I'm uh, Yeah, like, like you said, I'm not sure what to entirely expect. I have a few guesses exactly how this would go, especially since the whole divinity thing and um, them explaining I mean, okay, about the gods. I think, it's, I think it's positive that shit's going to go down and he's going to kill a lot of people. Because that's usually what happens no matter what. A However, lot I don't of know. Well, I mean, he's getting the praise he won. He's won it so long. Everyone loves him because he's a saint. I don't know how it's going to like turn out. How that's usually what what it happens here. Like, like we we all know at this point where he's going to like end up killing everyone, like well, some way, mm -hmm. somehow. Well, we just gonna... don't know how. Well, he'll probably end up killing somebody that's probably good, but he finds annoying or completely useless and, you know, they could just be removed from the equation. Um, but, I mean, he does have now at least two forced companions with the Elf King and uh, Elf Princess at his side. Um, I don't know. All from pretty high levels, too. Yeah, that, too. I'm kind of wondering if in this world he's actually going to get forced companions, but he'll actually, he won't kill them. Well, unlike in all and of his this previous is how he's gonna graduate. He tried to kill them. I mean, he 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 definitely tried to he beat them, but you know that's what I mean by forced companions. Like he he ended up not killing them because he's like, all right, I need you or I'm gonna use you for some things. But it, it, just him him having two people, you know, that he willingly won't kill. Unlike with uh, what's his name in the previous one. Uh, the other hero, where he got stuck with him, but he pretty much tried to kill him every chance he could get. 
Uh, Whether it be by some accident or by his own hands. I mean, it, whichever way it worked for him, that was kind of the thing. But these two, it's like, all right, I guess you're here. You're not too much of a pain. I can use you for some things. He's kind of like, all right, hold my shit <laughs> kind of thing. Hold my earring. Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we'll have to see what we get in that uh, newest chapter for that one. I am interested to see exactly what uh, weird off the rail bullshit we throw in this time i kind of hope he gets another class change or if we'll see him drop another level in a different stat because that is an unusual thing to see happen for him since he's only gotten stronger with everything he generally does but for him to completely lose a level in something is like all right well that's unusual huh uh anything else on that one that you two had for there. Anything else you want to bring up? No, 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 no. It just brought up more confusion. <laughs> That's all we did by discussing it. We're just like, now I'm just, I just can't think of it. Sure. All right. Well, we'll keep moving on here since I know this is one that Ark will definitely, definitely talk in tandem about. But we'll see here with all of the gods in the high school. Yeah, Seraph with that face. <laughs> take it away, um, Ark. Take it away. Yeah. Uh, two chapters, and really, I think more or less one and a half chapters, maybe. Really, man. Oh god. In reality, damn. we got a half chapter. So this is, all of four. This is so annoying. All of four seventy nine, or was it four? Was it four ninety seven or four ninety eight? I think it's four ninety seven. Yeah, yeah four ninety seven. It, it was an all all flashback on things in life. I mean. It wasn't even truly a flashback as much as it was just like a last time on Dragon this Ball is, Z. This is, this is episode two of the anime, right? <laughs> Where we had like a flashback and then we have a flashback in the flashback, right? So like now we have a flashback and then like, guys, guys, don't worry. We have a flashback and then we have a flash forward, but then we also have the flashback and then we give you a training montage within the flashback. So, and I was like, why are you doing this? Like, I, I'm so confused. I'm confused as to like why this writing is so bad. I saw that. I, I, I saw those few panels and I was like, okay, this is this is just a recap of what happened. Okay, and recap, recap. Oh, that's okay, this fucking is new. Incredible. Recap, recap. And I, like the moment I got to like the third recap, I'm like, oh, Ark is gonna love this. He's gonna be so pissed. Yeah, it was just. <laughs> oh, hey, let's just recap everything that's happened so far, right? after that and then like now let's have this bit here where we kind of show a little bit of what like our what fucking monkey king has been doing but not really because like we're going to just time skip everything even though we flash back backwards for this too and i was like why what was the point of that you could have just had it where like we all assumed that he beat them when we saw that he had all the yaois right like he's like oh yeah i got all of these yaois already we're like okay so we know he beat them you, I don't need to see, oh, we're going to actually see him fight them? Just like see what kind of challenge or like what kind of like train montage he goes through? No, we we get to see him like punch one dragon and then like skip forward and like, guys, 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 now I get to write my OC into the fucking story. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> guys, guys, the first dragon is now his waifu all along. And I was like, no, don't do this. What are you doing? We, the first dragon Everest thing is the his Yahweh all along, guys, and she's she 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 feels like this connection that she, I know you some way somehow, and I was like, oh, why are you doing this? I yes. didn't need another yes. character. Yes, you did. You need all the extra characters. <laughs> it didn't need any more background story. I did not need to understand that the age of dragons was the age of dinosaurs. Okay, like. Oh, is that what happened? Like, why? What was the point of this? It was the point of filling in blanks that were pretty much not asked no about. Or needed. Asked. <laughs> I, did not need, I did not need an entire history of the fucking world at this point. Okay? Just we, just, we do not need to add any more plot. Okay? I don't need any more plot. Just, just thinking solve this please just finish it <laughs> no we need a few more layers of the plot on top we gotta we gotta make a, a heavy padding for the plot armor that's gonna come in later <laughs> that's all it is <laughs> that's all we need uh yeah so 
the mother, so uh, I, I guess the, the mother of dragons, not quite Daenerys, but close enough. The end of all evil. <laughs> and, uh, 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 appears with being, and also is apparently the actual original Yule that he had. It, it, her bone is was used to create his original staff, and now she's appeared. She was become... sealed beneath the palace for some odd reason, but then. Mubong Park was the one who helped unseal her, and I was like, "Wait, what?" Well, okay, what? okay. No, he didn't. He, no he didn't sense. help unseal her. He is intentionally doing something to destroy the world, and it just happened to do that thing. Yeah, no, no, that, 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 that's so so good. That was really coincidental. I was like, "What?" He was like, "Oh yeah, there's one last thing you need to do before you do this." I was like, "Oh wait, coincidentally, it's been solved for you," and I was like. Well, then well, what was the, point the, of the that? first like, part of the condition has been solved. You dug up the body. Now you need to contend with the body. <laughs> That's the second part. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, <laughs> oh, but yeah. Uh, uh, also, the revelation: uh, the, the the Monkey King is a is Gaia's reject child <laughs> or her bastard offspring. So he is. The son of the mother of the planet <laughs> itself. <laughs> <laughs> that is his origin. <laughs> and uh the and, and and original Yor, the Queen of Dragons, is it's also, also a child. another bastard child. <laughs> so and I was like, sister. why? Why are you why are you, are you doing this? Because I, if, I if, only if, need <laughs> to know that he was the monkey king. Everyone knows the story of the monkey king. I do not need any more Because if Mori Don has a sister, Mori Jin should have a sister too. <laughs> Everyone needs a, a couple. She's human, okay? <laughs> and he but, took care of her. But now he needs now he needs a godlike sister as well. Who needs a godlike sister? No, maybe his sister. godlike stepsister and, he, and she goes, what are you doing there, stepbrother? Because that's basically where that was going. And I was like, oh, this is awkward and weird and like... He does not need another waifu in like this. Like this is not necessary. All right. <laughs> Why was this necessary? It could have just been like, oh hey, the ya the last yaoi is from the from the dragon and for himself, and we'd be like, oh, okay, good. We're good with this. Move the story on a bit. We we've got this whole Bamto thing happening over in, uh, in the last human uh, refuge. We've also, also the Bamto got... thing that also pisses me off because I'm like, no one cares about this character. Like, why do I, I don't need to know his backstory and be like, oh, I do everything for the eternal God. And like, I, I suck his fucking dick too. Uh, and I was wait, like, wait, 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 wait. Man, well, I think Bamto, you're on the wrong part. I the, don't care. Okay, so, so Bamto's a rabbit. I think you're thinking of the deer. <laughs> Are you thinking of the deer? No, because Bamto <laughs> went back to be like, hey, Oh no, the deer was that too. The deer right? is no, the yeah, one yeah, that went yeah, back. Yeah, Bamto yeah, is yeah. in the refuge killing everybody. She's the one that's like taking over people's bodies. No, Bamto just went and killed all of the humans left too, right? Because no one decided to check if this humor this this human was carrying something on him at all. And I was like, man, you guys have the worst security <laughs> ever. I'm just I'm surprised you even survived this fucking log. Like <laughs> and, and also, it's not like Move On Park didn't know where they were, where they weren't, where they, where they weren't, right? Because he was like, "Yeah, Move On Park built all of this stuff beforehand." I was like, "So how does he just not know humanity is there already?" Because he didn't remember. Because <laughs> he didn't think any of them used it. That's pretty much what it is. Because she makes comment, it's like, "Oh, you." Uh, she makes a comment about, "Oh, the shielding above this blocks you from everything's view, everybody's view. That's why we couldn't find you." But it doesn't matter now. And it's not like Move On Park even confident. cared about it anyway, because it's, it's like, well, this doesn't out. it doesn't at all seem to bother his plan, which is just I'm gonna erase the whole planet anyway, so what's it matter? Uh yeah. <laughs> oh I should take a look. I, I just wonder if there's any talk like is the end chapters coming? <laughs> like or is this all actually just epilogue, really? This is just massive epilogue, and it ended a long time ago. <laughs> this is just the after story. This is, yeah, this is just an after credit story. <laughs> That's all it really is. Uh, yeah, well, now that we've got all of that out of the way, <laughs> and uh, all, all, all those thoughts and opinions of at least that one, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see 
some folks either give us their for what on that or if they like it definitely comment down below how if you like feeling. this i need to understand why you need to defend <laughs> this okay just tell me why this is not bad writing now please just explain to me how having a flashback and then a flash forward and then a flashback and then a and then a training montage time skip in one chapter is a good thing i i can't help you there <laughs> I can't answer that question, I sir. I unfortunately cannot. <laughs> Other than we need to finish this, but I have so much more story I wanted to write, so I'm going to shove it in here wherever I can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, since we got that all out of the way, we'll go ahead and move on with uh, some other gods that I know we at least enjoy a whole lot more in Lore Olympus. Uh, are you caught up on that there, Seraph? I think you're... Okay, cool, cool. Good to go. Well, I know you both made that whole, uh, uh, not accusation, but face about like in the pre, in the end panel of the last chapter that, uh, uh, no, Persephone was gonna, was gonna go off oh, and wow. she might go do something, but she wasn't. She just went and sat on the couch, <laughs> went to sleep over there. So it was all good. She slept in mm -hmm. the bed. Oh, she slept in the bed. Sorry. But yeah, she, she didn't go anywhere. She just made her way to a comfier space. <laughs> um, but, uh, the, the chapter after that we got a nice little uh, uh, we got a nice little side conversation there with that uh, seeing some other characters with uh thanatos and um daphne what they did after he uh rescued her from a very horrible date through a window mm -hmm. but um we get we get at least a nice impersonal thought of like how the gods perceive uh the other uh the other races at least at least the other the other demi classes in there um, from one to the other, like she, um, granted, I don't know how much actual personal, uh, personal, like attachment she has with Apollo, but like how she, like, she put a lot of like, like trust in other things in him. Like she just wanted his attention, but then you get to Thanatos talking about Persephone and like, why, what well, you know, why does, what does he see in her? Like, she's a lower class. Why would he even care about her? And it's like, okay. So that's kind of where the gods don't kind of see themselves as equal in some manner or one another, or you know in any way shape or form like that i'm guessing it's more of you know why does uh minith at all care about uh about hades in some way uh shape mm -hmm. or form when you know like i'm here so but <laughs> i did like that exchange that you know daphne like comes up you know back to him she's like i'm when he makes that comment about like oh why would he care about her she's a, like she's just a country a lower country uh goddess from earth she grew up in the boonies she's like I grew up in the booties too. What the fuck's wrong with you? It's like, what does that matter? Uh, I, I do like that someone is like straight up putting him in his place, just telling him right to his face, like, whatever. What, why do you even care about this? That's just dumb. It shouldn't have anything to do with you. What does it matter? Um, but yeah, it is between her and him. So stay, like, it's none of your business. Yeah, like, like, it's literally none of your business. What does it care for you? And his whole response was, she gets special treatment. It's like, the fuck does that matter to you? It's like unless you know unless it's like actually affecting his work like she's getting promotions on hand without doing anything then yeah i can see that pissing you off but and he, the, like, he bought her and, a dress and, and like the truth is the truth is it's not like it was his fault right like it's not it is not hades fault that persephone is down the hell right no. it's like no like like that's it's, everyone thinks it's like oh because Hades likes her that that's why she's here I'm like no that's not why she's here like if you if you literally just ask you'd be like oh She's not here because, no, it's because someone sent her here just to fuck with Hades. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is, this is Because Hera is like a weird spiteful bitch who's also helpful at times. <laughs> uh, I mean, her spitefulness is directed towards the right people. <laughs> There's definitely, the people in here definitely deserve what they're getting for sure. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... Yeah, that 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 whole chapter was just nice to have this off care these these two off characters that we don't really get to see have this conversation and just kind of like get out a lot of what I was feeling personally against like Thanos was you're you're a dick for doing what you've been doing you know you helped even push most of the situation along and then just to be like yeah this all of this jealousy or this anger you're facing towards him is just completely misplaced and has no actual merit to what's really going on and what's wrong with you. Um, mm -hmm. And I did like the fact that at the end of it, Daphne is just like, all right, well, give me your phone. Here's my number. 
call me when you get your shit together. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, look, someone who's better than Minute. Go for her. Please go for her. <laughs> if the Apollo thing doesn't happen, <laughs> which I'm sure it will. But yeah, so that was at least nice to go through. But um, in the next chapter, we get, we get um, you know, a, basically a, a nice flirtation moment with Hades and Persephone just going through their day and uh, the little dog not liking it at all. <laughs> he, uh, she, the little dog does not like Persephone. <laughs> not even close. Yep, she, she is apparently stealing all her, uh, all her time that she should be spending with him. But um, after that little, uh, that little nice little scene, we get, we move over with Hera actually deciding to be back uh, down in the underworld and she's on an investigational uh, little mission and apparently the guy who was run the ho- who run the motel who's running the motel that Persephone was in before she escaped is selling all of her items on I don't know it wasn't Google what was it it was basically a version of Amazon I think like some uh, uh it was a version of eBay oh eBay yeah something it was something like that but yeah he was selling it on there and she was coming there to collect because she was specifically trying to find Persephone. okay I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say this I thought that was the stupidest move ever because I was like, okay, did you really think you could lie to her and it would work out? Like, as soon as you were caught, you could just be like, oh yeah, here's her stuff. Like, that's all you had to do. Like, you're like, why would you, like, not even double down, but fucking, like, triple down on it? Like, he was like, no, I don't have it anymore. And you're like, really? Like, you really think this is going to get by? Like, I mean, try him while you can, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't even know why he didn't just turn and run. I figured that would have been the best plan. Just like, oh, I'm fucked. Okay, bye. Oh, hey, let me let me go get her stuff and then just bounce and yeah, disappear. Just, like just that should have been like the what you should have just done. Like, <laughs> oh, let me let me go get it and then just disappear. Oh, but it wouldn't have been as fun without him being turned into a a, a duck, <laughs> a goose, or a goose. <laughs> you know, there, we wouldn't have the fun of watching that happen. <laughs> um, yeah, but. How do we feel about Hera's actual reaction to witnessing oh, seeing the, the videos? Seeing the photos? She actually sees the photos. Which, funny enough, I'm guessing, I figure it just, she puts the memory chip in and it just instantly, like, turns on, like, so Professor new phone didn't have a lock or anything for it? Okay, I guess. She just, she's that kind of spirit, but okay. Um, but yeah, like, because she's already talked with Persephone. She's already had the, uh, you know. The visions. The, the visions and the connection. She knows something's wrong. And Persephone's basically kind of told her that, but now she's gotten that visual proof that she needs. So, how do we feel like she's gonna take that spiteful, angry goddess mentality? I mean, there's a reason why she can. I'm pretty sure it's Hephaestus that she contacted. I'm at guessing the end. it's Hephaestus she contacted. Because he's like, "What do you need, mom?" And it definitely looks like he's like the IT guy of the fucking Un- uh, gods of the, uh, the so. underworld. <laughs> he's completely metal. He, he looks like he's at a at a, at a desk terminal himself kind of doing shit i mean it was either i would say she'd either called him or she would have called her other son because if there is at least one other person that zeus is afraid of it's Ares. so do we think she's going to well i'm guessing well since she's calling Hephaestus, the idea she's calling hephaestus you think she's going to try and uh be more tactful and kind of try and break into apollo's phone and delete the photos uh is that, is that who the knows? Plan? or just try and track him so she can just i mean she was she was talking to somebody who looked like he's able to do so i mean i mean that he's at be... like a computer with like four screens and shit man well i mean i'm kind of wondering how the, the, the wrath is going to be distributed here for her for her because she's already been told that she doesn't want help or persephone doesn't want help from her she doesn't want to tell her what's, what's happened and she kind of wants to handle it on her own but you know, she's trying to do more because, you know, a lot of this is spiraling out of all these areas just because, and she wants to be of use in some way. So you think she's just going to kind of keep it under the radar and kind of help one way that'll at least get Persephone like cleared in that matter so that, you know, Apollo can't do whatever his bullshit plan is, which is more or less just a blackmailer in a marriage. Um, or do you think she's going to, you know, the goddess of wrath here and just kind of wrath the world maybe uh not entirely sure not entirely sure uh i don't know i mean I one know. thing she could do she could show hades and i'm sure he'd probably kill everyone 
He'd probably murder Apollo. He'd probably murder Apollo. I mean, he already doesn't like him, so... It this would... is pushed the drive a little further. I mean, why not uh, Why not beat the crap out of his little nephew? <laughs> mm-hmm. All these kids need a little bit of, little bit of discipline. But, yeah, so... I, I am interested to see what she has up her sleeve with Hephaestus. Um, if it's not a, a weapon or some kind of underhanded plan to try and uh, uh, help out here with a little bit. Um, not to mention, since it seems like with these last two chapters, they were more focused away from per uh, Persephone and Hades and more on what everyone else is kind of doing in their own free time. Um, I'm kind of wondering if we'll also get a, in the next chapter, we might even get a flashback to see what the hell happened with Apollo if he just like, oh, she stood me up and he goes off on a rampage or something or he does something else since I'm sure he wouldn't stay at the uh, restaurant entirely by himself. I'm just going to tell you that the story of what happens between Daphne and Apollo in old Greek Roman lore is not very good. So I don't think it I would. Don't th How many of those I, stories are good? I'm just saying, okay, okay. I'm just saying <laughs> that it is... A very bad end, so <laughs> I don't think this is going to end out well for Daphne. Mm. I, I, I'm kind of hoping that that, uh... And unfortunately, that, I feel that, like that it's happen. I'm kind of hoping that is... it doesn't happen, and it's it's like he gets the phone, he has the phone number, and he calls her, and he oh, leaves a I, I will be very happy if nothing happens to Daphne here, but, like, if something does happen, I feel like what's going to happen is that even if he does it, like, Zeus would, like, just, like, brush Wait, it off, yeah. because he's like... No, it's because she's a lesser being, right? It's like she's... And, like, that's, like, their mentality about it, right? And everything I mean, is still... Gods. like he's it, Yeah, it's... They're not gods. She's beneath you. Fine. You want to treat her like trash? Then, like, she's just a... She's just a piece of meat that you tossed aside, right? And that's that's literally what it is. And uh, that's why his Zeus's mentality is like, no, I have to punish Persephone because you set her an example. Be and it doesn't make a difference. And, like, if it was Hera, Zeus would be like, no, I won't do that to Hera. But, like, because Persephone is a lower oh, goddess, God. then they're like, he's like, nah, like, I'm going to punish her to, like, set an example. Mm. We'll mm -hmm. have to it's see. I mean, we'll definitely have to see because, uh, uh, yeah, the Apollo needs a few more pegs down on the rung for sure. And I kind of want to see Hades battle him down <laughs> more than anything. Um, I need to see Hades be, put the smack down on his man. If not Hades... And set him to Tartaros. If not Hades, Demeter. Because she's definitely not one to trifle with either. For No, I, see, I feel like I am afraid with Demeter against Apollo, right? Like, like Demeter would be like, oh, okay. This is where I'm going to hurt her, right? Because, like, Demeter is on the same... Like, Demeter is one of the old gods. It's one of the oldest like, gods, yes. Yeah, like, she she technically, I believe she's actually older than Zeus she in is. the lore. Yeah, right? she is So, like, she's, like, she's, she's one of the few goddesses that was born alongside of, like, the Titans. And then she was just convinced to join Zeus's side. Mm -hmm. So, like, she's, she's not really, like, a sister, but more like an aunt, kind of, right, yeah. to, like, the... Right? Mm -hmm. So then, like, Demeter finds out about this, and she's like, oh, oh, you think I'm afraid of Zeus? No, 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 no. You're gonna find out why Hermes shut up about everything else. Do you understand this? Because, like, the truth is, yeah, Zeus, like, throws his dick around, right? But I can hurt you. Like, I am willing to fucking hurt you. I'm the one with the true biggest dick. <laughs> And her screen name just pops up and it says true biggest dickest. Biggest, <laughs> biggest dickest. <laughs> true biggest dickest. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's big clowning. I, I, I would not mind seeing a, a, a full battle royale with Demeter versus all the gods. I would actually be pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah. Uh, anything else on that one before we move on to our last one of the night? No. Nope. Nope, nope. All right. Okay, we'll close off here on another strong one with uh, two chapters in the bank. It is Peerless Dad, and we get some uh, we got some more breakdown with here. We got more some more some more info on the past as well as his abilities. Uh, it's the Avatar it, it, meets Naruto. Yes, kind of, <laughs> kind of, kind of. Um, yeah. All right, so so people, if people are wondering, 
the the elements in this world is I think it's called a uh, Wuxing. I, I think, think so. it's it's Chinese based. Yes. Okay, so yeah. it's the it's the it's the five elements, not the usual Western or uh, version of the elements, which the is elements, which yeah. is the four elements. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have water, earth, wood, metal, and fire. Yes, and uh, they were. They were all wieldable by one person at a point. The Avatar, yes. Yes, the Avatar. Well, depending on which uh, story we want to go with about that. <laughs> the but, Avatar and the and the first ninja kind the first, of Yeah, thing, the, the, right? the first it's, Avatar it's, and the first it's, ninja. It's the, <laughs> it's the best way to explain it. He's, he's like, he's the Avatar meets the first ninja in Naruto. <laughs> the, the stage mm-hmm. of, he's, of, uh, of uh, what? A thousand paths, the, or whatever the, it was, the, right? The sixth path sage yeah. meets, uh, 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 meets the avatar state <laughs> at all points. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Basically, while uh, now is kind of recovering from his first ass kicking, um, Mao Mao gives him some breakdown, basically about how the five clans came into existence, and she uh, goes into the history of each of the five clans specific elemental points and uh as you said we get the avatar of this world was a individual who could control all of these uh, individual elements but then decided that he wanted to pass on this knowledge to other people but in and in doing so he passed it on to one person for each of the elements that he found who was uh right no it's because from. he he could not find someone who could we well, couldn't find someone who could pass on all of them Yes. So he found individuals, as I was saying. So yeah, he, um, he does pass on each one individually, but the problem is with it is that she explains like um, that happens is you, when you learn the abilities and you learn how to use them, when you get too far into it, it eventually turns on you and you basically become like the metal demon god or what they have is Kai Division, uh, Kai Deviation. And basically it just, you get consumed by it. Yeah, and, yeah it's because... The elements by themselves are can become volatile yeah, without them, the without the help of another element. Well, without the balance of that uh, of another element to basically even them out, and that's yes. why the master was so great at it because you controlled all of them and it kept him in balance. But individually, they are all in basically a, a ticking time bomb waiting to go off. Um, and that's uh, and and that's why she shows uh, she explains off like that's why his master was always close to the water uh, the water god master is because uh, water essentially helps metal so they kind of uh, harmonize with each other and that's probably how he staved it off um, but we see now like after getting a lot of the teaching we see the I I don't know why they the artist drew that this way but we see him like walking to this pond or this pool and he just kind of lays in it and then he gets up and he's just ass naked i i i, I don't know why but then like because in the next panel he's fine ass he's, he's, he's closed so i'm fine just like ass. that's all it is I, I don't know it's good it's cool i just didn't want us to see the cheeks bro we wanted the cheeks i guess we wanted to see the slappable cheeks i don't know but yeah um He's basically just, he's basically just trying to like find the balance. Like, well, what is it about water that helps him, that keeps everything in line? Um, but he specifically comes up with that. His master was also trying to find this path, but he says that he discovered something with that he was able to use the internal Kai energy without bringing in the metal Kai. So no, I think the way he explained it is like he's like, it's. And without the deviation of it, not without the key itself, because because when he explains it, then Mao Mao is like, oh yeah, that's that sounds like the proper way to do it. Be, but the only problem is no one's been actually absolutely like well, no been one's able a, to do. No it. one's been actually been able to do it or been certain of it. But, but there, he but states there is, that he actually did of, get to that. But there is a group of people who have a power similar to that, and you might be able to figure something out if you go visit them. Yeah. Well, I mean, he wanted the he, his first plan was to just get hit more, and he thought he'd figure it out because he I said mean, he would have because he said that's because, where no, he I, felt I, it the I first think, time. I, was I think the absolutely fight. the truth is, if he would have been hit more, he would have figured it out because that's how his master trained him the entire time, right? The, his body is built on being just being beaten the entire time. Yeah. After he gets beaten so many fucking times, 
then the reason why he takes the you know the medication and then his pores uh open themselves up and he like expels the uh they what what's they the key the toxins from his body and stuff right mm -hmm. and like that's always like oh no this is how it always has worked and i think he is along the right way because he's like no when the fire guy hit me then like i felt like there was something right like it it felt like that was the way it should have felt like yes yeah like he said he felt he felt some he felt the internal energy build up and come out but he didn't feel any of the metal kai starting to uh, being expelled with it so he felt he feels like he 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 kind of has an idea of the right path for the ability to work to occur but he just he doesn't know how to actually tap into it properly so yeah um and like you said yeah he has been trained basically just keep getting beaten keep getting beaten keep getting beaten and eventually you'll you'll gain that knowledge but since he's been introduced to the metal kai it's been harder for him to move forward because it's well since his entire ability set is metal kai he is he is one of those he's he's having a hard time actually functionally controlling it in that proper manner um and uh, yeah mao does tell him that you know you can go here and you'll probably gain some knowledge that'll help you in this quest which is definitely a, a key there hopefully to him either gaining that new knowledge or at least getting onto the right path for it because it seemed like he was trying to take two different ideas with either um trying to learn how at least how the other uh power user with water would help him since you know he also was friends you know his one friend who is the water dragon as well so i don't know if they'll probably have a two set where he'll learn that technique and it's like okay this kind of but then he'll go back to uh i believe his name is, is it shoe or show you guys remember they said it in and i can't remember i, think I don't it was show but he'll, he'll i'm the worst person who names so I, I have no idea but he'll probably go back to him and maybe you know they may form try and reform any kind of a bond and you know he'll fully finish that technique and finally be able to achieve what his master was trying to perfect this entire time um but yeah so I, i'm just happy that we got like even if it is just a, a giant exposition bit it was nice getting all of this info from you know explaining exactly how one all of these abilities even come from and how they're actually distributed between these clans um but also, you know, a, a direct path for the character to kind of go, but not 100% clear of how to get to the end goal that he needs to. Um, yeah, uh, uh, that was just a nice, si uh, not even a side bit, but a nice main bit for the whole story as it was. Um, I'm also, I'm also going to guess he's going to probably run into maybe some more people, uh, maybe the Fire or Wood Clan along the path along no, the way here he met he met so the girl the, well he the met girl the girl well she was she's a part of the a part of the wood clan and that's why yes. she was so afraid of him um but the more he's he, the one thing that's happening is he's stepping more and more into the mirror world which is the one thing he's tried to avoid a lot of his life so uh, him just getting more into it i'm seeing him possibly walking into more of those people uh as it goes on but i'm kind of hoping or wondering if you know as he cleanses himself of the metal if he'll like have less of an adverse reaction to seeing them as he did before because like when he first met the fire guy he was just straight up furious with him being there so um but yeah so brother now has got a basically another quest and also it looked like uh since he's been here it's gone from summer to autumn yeah so quite some time has passed yeah um enough time where uh his two mercenary bros uncle knock and them are like uh hey where the fuck is he because we kind of need him to de help deal with the problem because someone is trying to step into our territory and he's like well if the guys who are trying to step into this territory is who i think it is then we might have a problem we anyways. might have a little bit of a problem but we kind of can't make any moves yet because if we do it's gonna it'll basically expose our presence to what's what we're doing so they're kind of in a tough, they're, they're kind of in that middle of that hard place, but he's like, this is no problem. This is why you're here. You know, you can handle this. This is not, this shouldn't be too much until he gets back. Cause why would he put, why would he leave us in charge if we couldn't do it? Um, but yeah, so, you know, Ak and uh, other brother are having, you know, their own personal thing with the gangs. We know um, the twins are apparently on their way to do something. Yeah. They're on the way to pick up the kids. Yeah. 
So they well pick up or kidnap. <laughs> pick up, quote uh-huh. unquote. Quote unquote. Uh, now you wonder if the kids are going to be uh, 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 trusting of the two twins this time. I mean, they seem to be under more they, surveillance they're... now. I'm, yeah, but they're also kind of like, yeah, these two old guys are the ones who taught us how to do the the whole wavy hat thing. <laughs> <laughs> wavy wabby. Wibby yeah. Hands. And then, um, and then the also the interesting part is where like, it definitely looks like you know the the sister did not train in the arts as well as the two brothers do because she's like I'm cold unlike the two brothers because they get they do the beat up technique like their dad does so yeah. like their bodies are like able to harden ha- yeah a little hardened and able to handle some of that extra external uh, <clears throat> uh, a little a little bit more punishment from that but she's of course raising her own knowledge base and granted it's not quite like she needs the uh the metal training as her brothers do she's already being trained in a completely different fashion that makes her far more of a deadlier opponent comparably um yeah so I, and then I, we get to see we get to see the uh the waifu who now is not dressed up as a man and he she's like hey young, young. hey hey yeah young young is like hey let me uh let me actually uh develop a rapport with these kids as a girl and not as a man now it's just gonna get back and she's just gonna be in the house now <laughs> It's like, what's up? Cooking and shit. What's up? I live here now. <laughs> How nice of you to come back, hubby. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So she's she's continuing her own personal plan of uh, slowly working her, her way into his life. Um, yeah, we've got a ton of setup from this one with not only with Ak and the gangs trying to deal with that. The two twins are on their way. So we're going to probably have another either side off chapter with the, the kids again. Um, Yang Yang, which I'm gonna guess that the uh, the twins are gonna run into Yang Yang, and she's gonna have to take care of them. Um, and then now is on another journey away from home to try and hopefully uh, learn uh, this this technique that his master has been trying to uh, perfect. Um, yeah, so uh, these ah, man, we this is still all what season one right two are we in two because we had the break right so this is two i i gotta check again are we, we had the winter two? break this but is technically actually... another this is technically another season okay but but i'm i'm kind of wondering was there actually a season break or was this just a we took a break off we're on we're season 1.5 okay because <laughs> i'm just like wondering I'm like this is all just one solid going Part of it has the been story. one solid going yeah like it part. has not the holidays, yeah. it hasn't been like the like all right this this has ended this arc has ended on to the next thing that we you know the characters face this has just been one solid bit so i'm kind of like we're already setting up for more stuff and i'm like oh holy crap <laughs> uh the, the person who's doing this is a freaking machine not to mention they already finished off uh red storm and they're working on the epilogue for that so oh oh Hopefully they can they, they keep going with this because yeah this is this has constantly been more interesting every time I come back mm. to the well for this it's, it never this is better written than Red Storm so it's fine oh, thanks just push someone's face down in the sand I swear uh but anyway anything there else was a I lot would... of desert in Red Storm there was a lot of desert and there was also some forest anywho uh is there anything else on Peerless Dad that we wanted to talk for any more discussion on that any more love nope. on the kids no 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 all right. Well, that does bring us to the close for this episode for everything. Thank you all for joining us. Definitely leave a comment below for any of the chapters that we discussed, what your thoughts and feelings were, or if there's any other uh, webtoons you'd probably like us to pick up. We are talking about a few. Um, I believe we've got a, uh, we just finished a recommendation and that is up for uh, a returner's magic should be special. That one with uh, me and your homeboy Seraph down there on that um we've got another one coming in the bag with the boxer oh well you're down <laughs> i haven't i haven't read the not the boxer. Four, no. oh the four thousand years one i thought you were doing that with arc no 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 no, no. returner's magic should be special oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah we did that <laughs> yeah that's right oh uh, wow i forgot it has been a little bit 
But we're going to have another one here for the boxer soon. But we are looking for some other webtoons to possibly pick up and discuss going forward since we've got so many on hiatus right now. And as you can tell, this week was a little short on some of the other ones because they did not update yet. But we'll hopefully be back here in the next two weeks with some more to talk about. Seraph, could you please roll us out? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this episode of the Project Webtoon Podcast. I hope you all... If you guys like, leave a like. If you guys make sure to subscribe so you guys can stay up to date with our content, make sure to hit that little bell as well. And we have an all of my links down below for Anchor, Spotify, and our Discord, Twitch, other things soon to come. Hope you guys have a wonderful night or day, depending on the time you guys are watching this. Hey, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll go ahead and roll us out for the last time. It is, of course, your big man is Sleepy. It's your boy Seraph here. And this is our Dragoon out. Hey, everyone, take it easy out there. Ooh.